All right, today I want to do an exciting video on these two products from Charge. You might know them as the company that makes these power banks like this Ice Mag 2, which I haven't done a video on yet, sadly. I need to. Or any of these, like their 170 watt one here, this 100 and, well 100, I think it's just 100 watt, and then this 100 watt. So now we can charge up these power banks from Charge with a Charge device. All right, so here's the front of the boxes. This is the 140, this is the 100. Basically just the difference is this 40 watts more. Now I always recommend going with the higher than you need just because it's future proofing. And also if you plan on constantly pulling 100 watts, it's gonna be a lot easier on this to supply 100 watts continuous than it will for this one. And I also notice this one has USB-A up there and this one does not. So I don't use that anymore, like literally never. So let's take a look at the sides of the box here. Pixel display, advanced GAN technology, and compact size and foldable plug, 140, 100. Then there's the gray one, there's the white one. I definitely like the gray better. I got both whites, but oh well. These were sent to me for free. These were reviewing it, so just keep that in mind. I am providing my honest feedback in testing though. So on the bottom, we just have the information such as the manufacturer. And on the back, we've got an example of three USB-C and one USB-A. On this one, we just have the three USB-C. We have all the specifications for both of these. We have all of these specifications for both of these units. So it gives you all the different outputs if you have more than one connected. That's pretty cool. And then we have the UPC. All right, let's start with the lower end one here, the 100 watt. So you open it up and you get presented with screen rotation buttons. So you can flip the screen around, which is pretty cool. And then we have the USB-Cs, the pixel screen, and then we get inside the box. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, come on. I just want to get this out of here. Okay, we got the 100 watt guy. It's with some film around it. That's pretty simple. I mean, really? That? All right. We do have an instruction guide there. But honestly, it's probably just going to be super simple because you literally just plug stuff into it. We've got some more specifications. Well, this is specifically the 100 watt version. And then we have the screen guide. So you can rotate the screen. Cool. All right, let's take a look at the other one here. So three USB-C, the button to switch it. So it's just like the other one, it's just more powerful. I mean, if you push your 100 watt one at 100 watts all the time, you're pushing it to its 100% like potential. Like it can't do anymore. Plus it's also getting quite hot. And if you have 140 watt, well, it was designed to do 140 watts. So pushing it at 100 watts forever is not, sure shouldn't be an issue at all. Okay. And now we have this one. So they look quite similar, obviously. This one's just slightly bigger, literally just so, so slightly bigger. And there's all these specifications on the back of the 140 watt one. Should be all the same stuff that we saw on the other inside of it. And then this is the 100 watt. So, oh, this is a different model number. S1U and S2U. All right. So like I said, it's just got that three USB-C on this one. This one still includes the old USB-A. So I'll plug up this guy and we got the button. Oh, it dims it and it turns it off all the way. That's pretty cool. And then rotate it. So now it's facing the way we're looking. Very cool, very cool. All right, I've got these two batteries I need to charge for my refrigerator. It's a little backpack portable refrigerator I made a video on recently. And we're gonna plug in the USB-C one. And it says it's putting out 44 watts. And as you can see, we're drawing 48 from the wall. And we'll plug in that other one. Now we're drawing 80 from the wall and the total is gonna to be 70 something on there. It said total TTL, 73. This is super freaking cool. It's just alternating between the thing there and then we can dim it or we can just turn it off if we don't want it at all. That's fancy. And then yeah, that just rotates it. So it's just gonna keep alternating between them all. That's super cool. Let's connect a 100 watt cable this thing just only charges at 60 watts by the way and as you can see we're currently drawing 125 from the wall and it's going to switch between c2 c3 and 
then the total and then c1 and start over and keep doing that that's pretty freaking cool man i really like that and then if you just disconnect and then if you have just one it should stay on and alternate just between c3 and total it might not even say total since it's only got one and obviously that's the total right now which is what i'm okay cool very cool when you have just one thing and it doesn't have to alternate and it doesn't have to show the total because this is the total this is just one thing plugged in all right, so I'm gonna connect USB-C one into my charge power bank that's currently charging my RGLIX. And as you can see, we charge it fast. Nice, very nice. 142 from the wall, C1, which is the total, it's gonna be 132, and it's reflected on here by saying 131. This is dope, this is super cool, man. And with 140 watts, we don't really have much more to spare. If we plug in something else, such as this guy, it's probably gonna tank that. So it's gonna restart it, obviously. And then cool, so this is gonna get close to 100 watts and that's gonna get 30 watts. And I'll just plug in my RGLIX directly into this thing. I have a third thing plugged in. And yeah, 133 from the wall and it's cycling between them, showing the totals 123. C1 is getting 67, C2 is getting 27, and then the RGLIX is getting 29. So yeah, freaking freaking awesome, sweet. Now what if we only change what we have plugged in? So plug that in, flip the screen around, and we'll just connect everything to this guy. And yeah, so 100 watts is obviously much less to play with, so everything's gonna charge slower. Plugging the RGLIX in directly, we get 93 watts. So we're already pushing this thing to its full limit, obviously, because it's a 100 watt device being connected. So what if we connect up these two fridge batteries and they're both almost full. So one of them's got the fourth light currently flashing and this one's got the fourth light flashing. So it's almost full, but if, oh, look at that. So we're getting 96 from the wall and here it's showing C1's getting 44, 43. C2's getting the same thing. And then we're getting 86. What if we connect up our S25 Ultra? So we're gonna obviously be pushing this thing to its limit and it's probably gonna slow down. So we get fast charging, but not super fast charging. So there you go. It slowed down to 30 watts for one battery, 43 for the other. And then we're charging our phone, which actually we're not charging the phone because I've got that limit set and it stopped charging because it's full. All right, went ahead and turned that off. <laughs> So now it'll charge to 100%. Fast charging, not super fast. And our phone's charging at 14 watts currently. But now if we just change everything over to the other one and we connect up the phone, the phone says super fast charging. And yeah, we're drawing 120 watts from the wall. Now if we only have two things connected, will we get super fast charging 2.0? Yes, we get super fast charging 2.0. Now, what if we use just this guy? Plug in one thing, super fast charging 2.0, sweet. Before we end the video, we're gonna test all the protocols this thing has to offer. So right now we're using the 100 watt one. All right, and we got some information here. We've got quick charge three, we have FCP, we have SCP, we have AFC, and most importantly to me, we've got PPS five to 20 volts at five amps. So pretty good, pretty good. Now all we're gonna do is basically flip these ports around and see what all the 140 watt one can do. We'll run that test again. All right, so this is the more advanced version, the higher one, 140 watts there. So we got all the same protocols, FCP, SCP, and we have AFC, and we have PD 3.1. So we've got five to 21 volts at five amps. And then there you have some more information. So, oh yeah, I'll have a link to these two guys in the description below. If you wanna purchase one of these for yourself, thank you Charge for sending these out for review. These things are super freaking cool. Yeah, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please give the video a thumbs up and please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is what we're Josh doing, I'm out.